Hi there, Steve Chittenden from SAP here. I've had a few questions around the use of Fiori and other elements of the user interface, and one of those being the use of personas. And uh, I also wanted to run a quick demonstration on how we can use personas to change the screens really easily and make some nice looking um, alterations to the system. Uh, so let's let's take a look at what that looks like and what that actually means. So one of the things that we often do in uh, logistics is counting inventory, and our count screen is yeah, it's okay, but uh, it could probably do some improvements. So I'm not too worried about this initial screen. There's only really one field we need to enter. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at the second screen in here. And as you can see, it's kind of all over the place. There's some fields here and over there, and it's not tremendously easy to, to look at and navigate. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to alter this screen to make it a bit easier. So here's where I use my personas to do that. You'll notice as I go up to the top of the screen here, you see this little P uh, arriving and this is what we've used to generate all these SAP GUI screens into uh, HTML5 screens that we can use through Fiori but the great thing about that is we can actually edit them and change them so when I click on that little P we can see here we have the original screen which is what Fiori is using to to render this in HTML5 right now which is great but what I'm going to do is I'm going to add what we call a new flavor to it um, and this one I'm going to call easy count because I want to give it a name of easy count. And the idea of personas is that um, it allows you to basically create a flavor of the screen. And what that means is essentially the screen becomes a bit like kind of PowerPoint in a way. Uh, let's say, for instance, I want to move some things around. I can uh, select them and move them. So let's say I want to move these guys here. Of course, I can. Just drag them, move them around. I might even want to just delete them. Let's say uh, I only've got, I've only got one storage location in my plant. Um, I'm not really interested in that. I'm not particularly interested in any of these uh, these uh, items at the top here. I can just select them and just using the delete key on the keyboard, delete them. Let's say I want to make this button a little easier to see what's going on. So I might just put next page there because I might have multiple items. Um, on my on my uh, on my, my list of things to count, let me just move that around. Uh, let's make that into here. That's great. We'll just drop that. Uh, as you can see, it takes a bit of playing around this, and I would definitely recommend um, spending some time designing your your screen how you want it to look. Um, so let's just quickly show you some things around it. So obviously you'd spend a lot more time doing this than I'm showing here. I'm just showing the principle behind this, how we can create things that look like buttons, move things around. I might want to move these fields a little closer uh, to make it a little easy to enter those screens, uh, enter those fields, sorry, and uh, things like that. Once I've done this, all I've got to do is click on the save button at the top here and then select exit. And what I have now is a new flavor. Yeah, I know this looks a bit ugly. Obviously, you'd spend a bit more time making it look good. I'm just showing you the basic principles behind this. And you'll see here I've got my easy count now flavor in here. If I don't want that flavor anymore, of course, I can simply select it, hit the delete button, or I can edit it and tidy it up and make it look good. Just by hitting edit again, I go back into the edit mode again in here. And of course, I use this exit button. Uh, to come back out to the, the screen. Now, to make this the standard default, what I do here is you select it, and you'll see here I've got this little tick. Now, if you do this, um, and I'm talking to SAP people here and, and uh, pre-sales, if you do this for your demos, please ensure that after you've completed your demonstration that you come back and actually uh, take that off the default because obviously that might confuse uh, some of our colleagues elsewhere. So just to show you now, if I um, come back out to that initial Fury uh, screen where I've got my enter count, you'll see it takes me into that initial screen, which I didn't change. But when I go into the next screen, here, here we go, it's now got my persona attached to it. Now, if you want to get really advanced on this, what you can also do 
is and also without changing the default which is great um, let me just put that default back there before i forget what you can also do is you have this idea of the the link button as well and what the link button will do is it will actually give you the url uh, which of course you can copy to the clipboard and once you've done that you can create your own fury tile of course which will link directly to that flavor now when you do this uh, just make sure that you are doing it and you test it because when we're linking it directly from the initial button of course if you're changing subscreens you want to change and make sure it all works and everything else but what that allows you to do is copy it to the clipboard you can then create your own fury tile and hey presto you've got your own screens uh, all the buttons and everything else will work exactly the same as before uh, and you'll notice here that obviously my button here if I click on it it will take me to the next thing everything still works as before the fields and everything else are all uh, accurate it's just a matter of uh, look and feel is a little bit different a little bit easier to use so when you're creating your demos you can change your screens around you can change colors you can delete fields aren't required make some really nice looking screens out of that obviously this one is a little ugly as I mentioned because I just played with it but when you're done and you when you're finished if you can select it you can hit the delete button and that flavor will disappear and is no more so uh, that's a really nice tip there just on how to play and change um, the screens that are what are actual screens in the system and of course you can see here everything's gone back to standard back to normal now because that persona has disappeared thanks for watching hope you enjoyed that and uh, happy happy personaing